Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly go over what I was able to pick up during that Connecticut comic crawl. Spoiler alert, I picked up a Funko. All right, guys, we're gonna get into this, but first, please hit that subscription button along with that notification bell. The notification bell is gonna let you know when I drop content. Regular content comes out Mondays and Thursdays, but once in a while you get a smaller midweek video, as well as when I go live for auctions and mystery box unboxings and whatnot. Uh, this video is a perfect example of a midweek video that comes out just randomly that you wanna know when it comes out. All right, that notification bell is gonna help you. Also, if you enjoy the video, please hit the thumbs up. Now, in the description below, I'll have a link to the video a bunch of us, if you, if you didn't know, a bunch of us, maybe like 10 of us went out together. We went to a whole bunch of comic shops within the state of Connecticut, recorded the whole thing vlog style. Uh, that, that video came out earlier this week. But this is what I actually was able to find, amongst other things, out at these stores. So I did pick up a Funko. Uh, I'm not a big Funko guy at all, but I just, you know, I love Thor and I kind of really like this. So, okay, here we go. Let's get into it. We're going to start with DC. First up... I found a Batman 258. The only reason I picked this up is because I just sold one and I didn't have one. I thought I needed it. This is the first mention of Arkham Hospital, which is really Arkham Asylum. Nice book, thicker square bound book. Um, nice minor key if you're a Batman guy. Next up, I got this for an absolute steal. This is a very low grade tape on the cover. Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane number 70, first silver age appearance of Catwoman. Great book. I have a mid-grade copy of this. This will be up for auction. It was The price was too good to pass, even though it's low grade. It's a great entry-level grade for this book if you don't have it and you're looking for Batman keys. Another Batman book, and the last of our DC, is actually Batman 241. Just a classic Neil Adams cover. Great condition, probably somewhere around a 7.5 or an 8, which isn't too bad for this. A real pretty cover. Again, classic Batman, Neil Adams. Beautiful stuff. Now, the rest is all Marvel. A lot of speculation books in this batch. But first, not really a spec book. This is Amazing Spider-Man 135. First, or second appearance of The Punisher. Again, for the price, I don't remember what I paid on some of these. I just remember being like, okay, that's a fair price. I could, I could do something with that. So, again, second Punisher. A nice book to have. Goes well with the ASM 129. And I actually, I like this cover. I do. I like that. Um, next up, two of the same. A little bit of a spec book. This is Amazing Spider-Man Annual 22, first appearance of Speedball. These are nice condition. A uh, little bit of a spec. Rumor is he's coming at some point or another, but cheap books. Doesn't hurt to pick them up. Another double here. Uh, both were picked up. All four of these books, or no, these two Doctor Strange books were picked up at the first stop, which is the eye opener. This is Doctor Strange number one. Not an extremely expensive book at all, but a really nice minor key. Uh, first in his title, you know, great, great book. I, I like that cover. I think some people don't, but uh, one is a much higher grade than the other. One's probably like a seven, maybe a six, five, seven. The other one may be an eight, eight and a half, maybe even better with a press. So Again, Doctor Strange number one. Another, we're going to stick with, we'll go back to ASM here. Amazing Spider-Man 102, second appearance of Morbius. Just a little bit of stain on the cover. Uh, didn't even bleed through much at all. Sweet book. I remember the price being great. Had to pick it up. All right, here we go. Here comes another, another spec right here. This is Strange Tales 102. 38. This is First Eternity. A nice book to grab. Not super expensive. Expect this one to grow. Again, the price was right. You grab it. More spec here. Two of the same. This is Strange Tales 150. This is the first appearance of Umar. This is Dormammu's sister. Another spec here. She's rumored to be coming to the MCU. It would make sense if she did. So keep an eye out for these books. Again, this is Strange Tales 150, First Umar. Now here's a hot one. I got this for $3, I'll just straight up tell you. I found this in the basement of Sarge's. This is a hot book right now. The casting is out there. We're gonna see where it goes. This is Daredevil number nine, First Echo. 
Great book. I'm going to pair this up with number 10, which is our first full appearance and cover appearance. You're going to see this in an upcoming auction together, the two of them. Nice book, ultra high grade. May even be worth sending to CGC to hit that elusive 9.8. It looks really, really, really nice. Another spec book coming up here. Fantastic Four. I have a lot of a lot of specs in this batch. A Fantastic Four, 164. First appearance of Frankie Ray. She becomes Nova. Rumor has it she's coming as well. Not necessarily as the first Nova, Richard Ryder, but eventually Frankie Ray. Not in a very expensive book. To be honest with you, I believe the other her first appearance as Nova may be a little more expensive than this one, but this is her first appearance. Another bit of a spec book. Now, with Silver Surfer and Galactus, you start thinking Heralds, and one of them is right here. This is Fantastic Four 211, first appearance of Terax. Affordable key issue. You guys may want to start grabbing those Fantastic Four and X-Men books because they are coming. Uh, I always liked this cover, too. I liked this cover, I liked this book, and I liked the price. I don't remember what it was, but I know it was good enough for me to buy, so here you go. Next up, amazing, Spider-Man 546. You've seen a little bit of heat behind this book too. This is the first Mr. Negative, first jackpot. Super affordable, found this in Sarge's basement if you go back and watch the video. I did timestamp the video too so you could hop and see the certain stores, but uh, this, another book that's climbing. Uh, this is again an ultra, ultra I don't want to say ultra high grade. It might be a 9496. Sometimes I get a little nervous with the 98, but it does look good, look pretty. Pretty, pretty looking book. Next up, another spec book here. Uh, this is the new Avengers number seven, first appearance of the Illuminati. Rumored to be coming in either Doctor Strange 2 or ba Black Panther 2. Probably Doctor Strange. Um, this is their first appearance as a group. I also think these are very high grade. These were also found in the basement of Sarge's. I think it was in Newington, Connecticut. We were, we were far up there. Next up is another big key, another book. This may have to be sent out to CBCS to get a certified signature or verified signature grade. This is the first appearance of Mara Jade, the first appearance of Admiral Thrawn. This is Star Wars, Heir to the Empire number one. This looks like it's in great condition. It is signed, cool low, did come with the certificate of authenticity. Uh, really happy about this one. I know Justin from Three Men in Basement, Nemesis Prime is always looking for these. I just happened to come across it in Sarge's basement. Only two books left. This was also found in the basement. And when I priced everything out and cashed out, the guy made a face like, oh, you know, nice find. This isn't a $3 book, but hey, I'm going to stick to my word. This is Eternals number two. First appearance of Ajax. And most importantly, this is the first appearance of the Celestials. Great key right here. A lot of those eternal books, they're going up. They're still going up. Uh, Kirby Greatness, awesome book. I would say this is probably about a seven, seven and a half, but for three bucks, you can't beat that, right? Last but not least, the last book on the list here is also the only slab I bought on the day. This is another spec book, and I, I don't even know if it's a spec anymore. I believe this guy is coming. This is Incredible Hulk 234. This is the first appearance of Quasar. Yes, his true first appearance is a Captain America book, but this is his first appearance as Quasar. Right here, he's coming. Whether it's Disney Plus or the big screen, he's coming. So I was real happy with this pickup as well. And again, to go full circle, last but not least, I did pick up this Funko. Uh, hey, you know, it happens. I really liked it. I liked the lightning on Thor, so I said, okay. This is also my favorite MCU movie. Um, Infinity War is my favorite. So I said, you know what? It's always nice to put a little stuff with your slabs, accessorize. So that's what I did. But uh, that's it for what I found. You definitely want to check out all the other guys and see what they picked up. I'm going to, in the description, I will have the video to the actual comic crawl. It's a long one, guys, so you may want to watch it in pieces or sit down, relax, and try to enjoy it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please, again, hit that thumbs up on your way out, especially if you enjoyed the, the video here. And as always, keep it comics.